how to use social media to get a job. The credit's crunched, the recession is biting, and certain jobs are getting harder and harder to come by. So if you've been pounding the streets unsuccessfully looking for work, then maybe it's time you put your feet up, fired up the computer, and spent the rest of the day on Facebook, right? Well, actually, yes, that is right, because you can use all those lost hours Twittering and Facebooking to get yourself employed. We spoke to leading recruitment consultant Liam Morgan and social media expert Dan Rutherford to find out more. Clean up your profiles. First things first, clean up your profiles across all the social media websites that you use. Your potential employer isn't going to want to see pictures of you out on a Saturday night in your local town. The key thing is to make sure that images of you that may be detrimental to you getting a job aren't included or posted on your social network portfolio. Once any photos or inappropriate comments have been removed, it's time to get to work on your personal description. The keywords that recruiters will search or businesses that are looking for new staff will search will vary depending on what sector you're in and what you do. Um, so make sure that your job title is, is right, make sure that the industry that you work on is mentioned and is right, uh, but particularly if you might work on specific clients or in a specific, specific sector, make sure that they are clearly marked and that you, you've, you've outlined them. Twitter. As more and more people are using it for business purposes, Twitter has become one of the ultimate recruitment tools. If you find yourself uh, a relevant recruitment company in the sector that you want, or a relevant uh, business directly that has a Twitter uh, account, then why not sign up to that and find out when they're looking for people? Many of the recruitment agencies that use Twitter have an RSS feed, which you can find a link to on their profile page. Simply follow the prompts and subscribe to the feed. You know, an RSS feed is a great way for you to keep in touch of the latest developments, latest availabilities, latest vacancies within your industry. And the key thing is that once you subscribe to an RSS feed, obviously you're getting it straight from the horse's mouth, so you're not getting it through one of the third-party search engines or aggregators of jobs that are available. It's also important that you regularly communicate on Twitter with other users if you want to build relationships that might bear fruit in the jobs market. There's a formula that we think you should follow, that you should follow. so that's follow individuals, reply to individuals, retweet, share and then repeat that process. And by doing that, you're going to build up your persona and your, your own profile within Twitter. LinkedIn. Recruiters are starting to use LinkedIn as one of their primary means to source candidates. LinkedIn is basically a bank of uh, profiles. So much in the same way, it's a social network, much in the same way as Facebook is, but it's ten it tends to be used in more of a business to business way. Make sure you fill out your profile, then you need to increase your number of connections and get some recommendations. The easiest way to start making connections is to import your contacts from Outlook or Gmail and see if anyone you know is already on LinkedIn. And the more people that you're connected to, the more exposure you get, not only to the industry that you may already work in, but also to additional industries and sectors that you might be interested in, or that might take an interest in you. The other way to increase your employability is to get people to recommend you. As someone who uses LinkedIn to find people for the clients I represent, what I'm looking for in a recommendation is one that is from somebody that knows how capable you are and how good you are of doing the job that you say you do. So if, if a creative director says that you, you, you're one of the best junior designers that they've worked with and that they think your work is outstanding, then that carries a lot of weight. Facebook. Whilst one of the biggest social media sites on the internet, Facebook still mostly caters to personal networking rather than businesses. In terms of highlighting the fact that you're available within Facebook, you need to do it in quite an intelligent way because if you start shouting about vacancies and you being available in forums or groups within Facebook that you're not particularly uh, welcome, then you may rub people up the wrong way. Another tool at your disposal is Facebook social ads. These allow individuals and businesses to advertise via Facebook's news feed. There are ways for you to have social ads which are personal ads um, selling yourself or selling your own services. So if you have an advert that says, you know, Darren Rutherford, Head of Marketing, looking for a new position, then make sure that your advert is very tailored, very specific, and contains keywords that people would be interested or relevant people would be interested in seeing that particular advert. So that advert is served in the right environment. The thing to bear in mind when it comes to putting information on, on, a, on a social network is 
you know, some of the things that people post online and on social networks and even on professional networks, they wouldn't put in the window of their local news agents where arguably it's not searchable, it's not going to be seen by thousands of people, it might only be seen by a handful of people that you know. So if you're posting something online, that is on the World Wide Web and that is searchable and accessible by anyone, but especially by people who might be looking at whether you can work for them or not. And there you have it. All the knowledge and advice you need to find employment using social media sites.